Greetings to everyone and a special greeting to the members of my community. My name is Nightbird and today let's continue the animal presentations with a zoo which was created in South America. This is Huayna Picchu, a mountain peak in South America in the Peruvian Andes, located close to Machu Picchu. It actually overlooks Machu Picchu. At their time the Incas carved a staircase in its side and built a temple on top, from where the main priest walked to the city of Machu Picchu each day before sunrise to announce the morning sun. Well, I will introduce the zoo itself when it is completely finished. Now let's move on to our animal today, that is our lizard, which is the Cabaragoya. Well, at least that's what the Sinhalese call it. In English, its name is Asian Water Monitor and is the second largest monitor lizard on Earth after the Komodo dragon. It is a widespread species belonging to the order of Squamata, the suborder of Varanidae and the family of Varanus. As a side information, the monitor lizard's family, the Varanus, includes about 80 species. From the easternmost mainland of India and the Chinese provinces of Guangxi and Hainan, through the islands of the Indian Ocean, until the northern part of Australia, the Asian Water Monitor inhabits coastal areas. This includes Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia and the islands of Indonesia and the Philippines. Its habitats are of the same type as that of the Nile monitor. As I said, it likes water. It mainly lives in freshwater and brackish wetlands, up to 1800 meters above sea level. I mean, it likes waterside habitats, as it spends a lot of time in water, which is also reflected in its name, the Asian Water Monitor. Its scientific name is Varanus salvator, and it has five subspecies. The nominal subspecies is Varanus salvator salvator and it was first described for science in 1768 by Josephus Nicolaus Laurenti, an Austrian zoologist and naturalist of Italian origin. The original range of this subspecies is India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and Myanmar, but nowadays it lives only on the island of Sri Lanka, and this is called Kabaragoya by the Sinhalese and Kalavantan in the Tamil language. Tamil is spoken mainly by Tamils living in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu, while Sinhalese is the language of the Sinhalese people, the largest ethnic group in Sri Lanka. Another subspecies is the Andaman Islands water monitor, Varanus salvator andamanensis, which is native to the Andaman and Nicobar Islands of India, and it was described in 1944 by Sri Lankan zoologist, paleontologist and artist Paulus Edward Pieris Deraniagala. Next is the two-striped water monitor, the Bivitatus subspecies and it is native to Java, Bali, Lombok, Sumbawa, Flores, Ombai, Vetar and neighboring Indonesian islands and this was described in 1959 by the German herpetologist Robert Friedrich Wilhelm Mertens. The Southeast Asian Water Monitor, the Macromaculatus subspecies, was described for science also by the already mentioned Deraniagala in 1944 and the type specimen of this was caught in Thailand. Its distribution area is Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, the southern part of China, Malaysia, Sumatra, Borneo and the smaller islands around them. The fifth is the Ziegler's water monitor, Varanus Salvator Ziegleri, and about this there is little information. It lives on a single island, this is Obira Island, which is the main island of the Obi Islands, and these belong to Indonesia's Maluku or Spice Islands, as they were formerly known. In addition, the yellow-headed water monitor was considered a subspecies until 2007, 
which is now considered a separate species under the name of Varanus cumingi and lives on Mindanao, the second largest island of the Philippines. Its commonly known names are Cummings Water Monitor, the Mindanao Water Monitor and the Philippine Water Monitor. The Marbled Water Monitor is named too as Philippine Water Monitor and this also was declared a separate species in 2007 under the name Varanus Marmoratus. It is native to the island of Luzon in the Philippines and several smaller islands around it. The large-scale water monitor was also declared a separate species in 2007. It is also native to the Philippines and lives on the islands of Cebu, Ticao, Negros, Panay and Masbate. At the same time, the subspecies formerly known as the black water monitor, whose scientific name was Varanus salvator comaini, it is no longer recognized as a subspecies, but a melanistic population of the Macromaculatus subspecies. The Asian water monitor lives in many natural habitats, although predominantly in primeval forests and mangrove swamps, but it can also thrive near human settlements. It adapts and grows well in agricultural areas and in cities with sewer systems, such as in Sri Lanka where it is not hunted. Regardless, its main habitats are mangrove vegetations, swamps, wetlands, in altitudes below 1000 meters. It does not like habitats with little vegetation or scarce food sources, as it leads an opportunistic lifestyle that is, during the day it stalks its victims from between the branches of larger trees that shade rivers and streams. It haunts birds, fish, smaller lizards, frogs, larger rodents such as rats, but also larger crabs and snakes that live in the mangrove swamps. But it also eats fish carcasses and does not despise the inhabitants of poultry yards near human settlements, including cats and dogs, but also feeds on turtles, young crocodiles and crocodile eggs. It clamps its victim between its teeth and trashes until it is alive, and then, if it can, swallows it whole. It was also observed that it eats the catfish in a mammal-like manner. For example, it holds it with its front paw, tears off pieces from it with its teeth, and eats it sequentially. Twenty adult Asian water monitors caught on Redang Island in Malaysia had mainly human food and waste in their stomach followed by turtle eggs and young turtles, crabs and lizard eggs. If it's disturbed, it flees into water. If it's captured, it defends itself with its teeth, claws and tail. This can also be a rough defense as some subspecies can grow up to 3 meters long and roughly 60% of that 3 meters is the tail. Its bite can also cause serious injuries, so it must be handled with care. Its tail is flattened on the side which helps it to swim when escaping. It can reach a speed of up to 20 km per hour. It is quite a tameable lizard, especially if you take care of it from early age and since it easily climbs over climbable obstacles, therefore in some Southeast Asian villages they still poultry with it while on leash. Near the slaughterhouses of many Indian settlements, large specimens are waiting to receive scraps of meat. In order to be able to swallow larger pieces without chewing, the Asian water monitor can dislocate its hyoid bone. It uses its climbing skills even when it is in the role of victim, for example when it is hunted by the king cobra. In this case, it quickly climbs trees and, like the green iguanda, can even jump into water from those. Another known natural enemy of this lizard is the saltwater crocodile. Like the Komodo dragon, it often eats carrion and, thanks to its excellent sense of smell, it can smell carrion from afar. It is known to enjoy feasting on human corpses, so Due to its trainability, it can also help the police in the search for missing persons, but since it has a tendency to bite into the wanted person, it can cause problems for pathologists in the investigation. 
It is an excellent swimmer and can last up to 30 minutes underwater with one breath. The possibility of venom in the genus Varanus is widely debated. Previously it was thought that the venom was characteristic of the genus Serpentis, meaning snakes, and Heloderma, for example venomous lizards, such as the Gila monster, and uh, that the after effects of the bite of Varanus are solely due to oral bacteria, but recent studies have shown that venom glands are likely to be found in the mouths of several or even all monitor lizard species. In Hungarian I have already mentioned this when I've presented the Komodo dragon, and I have already talked about the Gila monster, but I will present them later also in English. In the case of the Asian water monitor, the venom it is said to be moderately strong and not fatal to humans. Sexual dimorphism is also present in this species, as the male is usually twice as large as the female. Males usually reach sexual maturity when they grow to 1 meter, and females when they reach 50 centimeters in length. This usually happens when they are 2 years old. The breeding season lasts from April to October, but April is the most ideal. In these times the males are aggressive territorial defenders, biting and flapping their tails at each other. The usually larger victorious male celebrates its victory with all the females that pass through its territory. After 30 to 45 days from mating, the female lays between 10 and 40 eggs, usually in rotting trees, coastal hollows or even termite mounds. Little monitors hatch from their eggs after about 6-7 months and are self-sustaining from the first day of hatching. When young they are constantly hunting for rapid growth. Monitor lizards are traded worldwide for their skins, and the lizard species exported from Southeast Asia are the most common. Among these, the Asian water monitor is one of the most exported species. Its meat is eaten in China, while its grease and liver is used for medicine. In India it is also considered an aphrodisiac. They are also kept as pets, but the biggest destruction is caused by fashion, as its skin is used for fashion accessories, bags and belts worldwide. Many are exported to the United States, where they are sold as highly sought after pets. It is considered a pest in many places, which is why it's exterminated and the destruction of its habitats also reduces the populations. Asian water monitors are protected by law in Nepal and Hong Kong. In Malaysia, this species is one of the most common wild animal, and although it is dying in large numbers due to various reasons, Populations are still thriving in most states of Malaysia, especially in the scrublands of the eastern coastal states such as Pahang and Teranganu. It's also a protected species in Thailand, along with all monitor lizard species, where it is often seen in metropolitan areas and in the canals and parks of Bangkok. It's extirpated from most of mainland India due to habitat loss and hunting, but in other areas its populations persisted despite hunting, partly due to the fact that the larger ones, including females that lay large number of eggs, are undesirable for the leather trade because of their tough skin. In Sri Lanka it is protected and valued by the locals for the protection of the rice fields. As monitor lizards feed on the destroyers of the rice fields, the crabs, but also on poisonous snakes. Since it is geographically widespread, it adapts to habitats disturbed by humans and reproduces in some parts of its distribution area despite great destruction, it is currently listed as least concern on the IUCN Red List. The species is included in the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species shortly cites, otherwise known as the Washington Convention in the second appendix, which means that international trade of Asian water monitors is regulated in every way. 
Although the average lifespan in the wild is estimated to be 10 years, in captivity they can reach 15 years and even 20 years if kept in the right conditions. If you visit Hungary, you can see Asian water monitors in the zoo of Pécs, but the former subspecies Cummings water monitor can be seen in the zoo of Debrecen. If you like the video, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. I'm also open to comments either about the Asian water monitor, either about Planet Zoo or this habitat. You can also join my community and with that gain a few advantages over subscribers. Watch my video from the description to find out the exact list. You can also join my Discord server, where you have the possibility to chat with me. And watch out for the votings about the next videos. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day.